What's up, everybody? I am here with Pauline, the CCO of Change Now. How are you doing, Pauline? Uh, doing pretty good, Steve. Thank you for having me on the show. For sure, for sure. So, uh, just to introduce you to the audience, in terms of uh, what Change Now is and what your role is at the company, can you just share a little bit on that? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, let me talk about Change Now first because that's. Uh, that's a product that I'm very proud of and like I literally can't stop talking about it any times like any at any other given moment so essentially change now is uh, a non-custodial limitless instant crypto exchange service so for example uh, you have BTC and you would like to exchange it to say ethereum or litecoin or whatever technically in order to do that you would have to go on an exchange like OKX or Binance or Bittrex. But uh, operating on an exchange takes a lot of time and effort. You have to know at least a little bit about trading. You have to register an account. You have to pass the KYC procedure. We do all of it for you in just three clicks. Uh, it's just that easy. We support more than 190, I believe, cryptos. More than 200, I think, at the moment. and. Um, I believe that's it, short and sweet. And I am head of marketing right now. I oversee all the marketing procedures like social media and PR and all that kind of good stuff. So, Awesome, awesome. And one of the things that I was uh, drawn to before we get into the, the, the team and everything, one of the things I was drawn to was the non-custodial service aspect of this. And I've, I've talked about this a lot on the show of – you know, not your keys, not your coin, and, and a lot of people going over that. But can you talk a little bit about how that works? Because I know that, that is, you guys take care of everything for the users in terms of, you know, um, allowing them to control everything. But can you go a little bit more in depth on, on how that works? Yeah, for sure. Uh, essentially, if we're talking like in more technical terms, uh, we do background trading on several exchanges for you. So, uh, we have currently, I believe, um, five exchanges plugged in into our service. So the only funds that we actually have control over, the only funds that we actually ever touch that belong to the user is the deposit that they send in. So, for Got example, uh, if, a, if a client wants to exchange one crypto to another, um, we pick the best rate on any of our exchanges uh, and present it to the user. And then when the user sends in a deposit, all we do, uh, there is actually a lot of complicated math and algorithms and trading stuff, which I've never really gotten into. But um, we take the user's deposit and trade it at the best rate possible on our partner exchanges. So that's it. We don't do any custody of your funds except for those that the user deposits. We hold on to them for about, I think, two minutes tops. And that's it. Then we release them to the user and the procedure is done. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I, I think that that is um, that's definitely something that's attractive about the space because a lot of people are, are currently are you know, launching these products that are like, let us hold your Bitcoin, we'll give you interest. And there's all this sort of, everybody's trying to grab as much <laughs> as, much as they can. And uh, it's very much sort of the opposite of what, crypto uh, started as? Naturally, you know, um, we've seen over the years, I mean, over the last year, I think, that a lot of custodians have proven themselves not really, I don't want to say trustworthy, non-trustworthy, I don't want to say shady, but they have been, a lot of custodians have been compromised in the past. Uh, and even like the most high profile ones. So for example, like we all have heard when Binance was compromised, was hacked uh, with 7,000 BDC stolen, I think a few months ago, it mm -hmm. was in the summer. And w I think that was like a really consistent and a really like glaring sign that people should start moving their money off exchanges, that people should never trust custodians not in this state of being like state of the industry at least. Yeah. yeah. So not your keys, not your Bitcoin. That's exactly the type of you know philosophy we try to live by. 
Yeah, that's fantastic. So in terms of the team, uh, how big are you guys? Are you guys distributed? Uh, where's the um, headquarters kind of thing? Our team is very much distributed. Um, as, as I've already mentioned, we are registered in Belize and we have several offices, one in Amsterdam, one in Belize City, one in Tallinn. Cool. Cool. And in terms of like the traction that you guys have seen, when did you guys start and what are you guys seeing and what can you share in terms of like user growth or transactions and whatnot? Uh, we started out two years ago. Actually, two weeks ago was our second anniversary of the project. And I think in like crypto terms, it's basically we're veterans. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. uh, uh, and um, right now um we've seen since ever since we've started you know going to conferences and getting ourselves a little bit more exposure than we used to the user base has certainly grown and we see that adoption is sort of escalating right now uh mm -hmm. a lot of people are coming into crypto who have never really heard about crypto before who have never really experienced crypto who have heard about it on the news and read about it on the internet and um we've been trying our best to make those people feel welcome in the space by creating a service that anyone can use even my mom for example my mom uses change now quite regularly ever since she bought her first bdc a couple of months ago that's awesome yeah i think that that was that was actually my driving force for starting content in the space was my parents like i got them to buy in 2014 and just said you know print off this these keys, put them under your mattress and just forget about it. And, uh, you know, they said I should start making content just to help other people their age getting involved. And that's great that, uh, that your mom's using it. That's awesome. I mean, you're doing God's work, obviously. And <laughs> I'm really grateful for creators who are really, you know, caring about people who are not really techies, you know, who don't really dabble in the technical side of things. So that's really awesome. And actually my mom, um, I think it was 2015 uh, when Bitcoin was first like starting making rounds and she was the one who first pestered me about it. She was like, maybe we should buy some, maybe we should buy some, hey, please take a look at it. And I made a great mistake of not doing that. And now three years, four years later, I am very much <laughs> regretting that I didn't look into it earlier because the space is crazy and the technology is supreme and yeah it's really awesome it's an exciting space and two years uh, change now being in the space for two years that's literally like a decade in regular uh, business <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so we're really proud of the fact that we've managed to you know stay afloat for so long even to live through like the Crypto winter, as a lot of people call it, we've managed to stay afloat. We had business and that's really awesome. So people don't really lose faith in crypto, even though sometimes the market just sort of sags and we're really proud of that. Yeah. Yeah. And so the last T that I usually go over is technology, but I wanted to just touch on something because I saw something on your website that I was super okay. interested in, which was the lightning portion. Oh. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Because that's super, super cool. Uh, it's a pet project of ours. Um, I believe it was somewhere around New Year's last year uh, when we first heard about Tippin. Um, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a browser extension that lets people tip uh, tweets. And when we first saw that, we were like, this is a really nice project. And it allows people to interact with their like with content creators and their favorite people on Twitter by tipping them Satoshis. And um, uh, what, one of our team members, I believe it was our previous CMO, uh, should get an idea that maybe we should also hop in on that. And the way we could do that, like right off the bat, was making our own lightning node to help facilitate fast and rapid payments on the Bitcoin network. Um, it's completely free. Um, it doesn't really bring us any revenue. We're just doing it to help out in the space. And I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah, 
It definitely is. And, and for everybody that's brand new to Lightning, if you set up a payment channel, it allows you to transact pretty much instantly because it's not on chain. It's like a second layer. So a very, very cool contribution basically to the community. Thank you. Yeah. So um, where, where do you want people to find out about more about change now and where can they find out more? Okay. So um, we post regular updates on our social media. Uh, you can hit us up on Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, and uh, not so long ago, we started an Instagram, uh, an Instagram account. So we post like pictures from conferences and anywhere our team members are working in the moment, we post pictures from there. Um, we're also on Telegram. We have two chats. One is about our token. Uh, it's called Now. You could check it out. Um, changenow.io slash tokens. Uh, there is all the real information available. Um, and there's also our community chat. You can just drop by. We have admins on there uh, pretty much 24 seven. I hang out on there regularly. So if you have any questions about the platform, um, just please drop by, send, send a message. You can even contact me directly. I'm at deep moist on Telegram. So you could just drop by, ask me a question and I'll do my best to answer it or direct you to someone who will. Awesome. And one last bonus question is if you were brand new to the space right now, what would you advise someone to do in terms of learning? How would you, how would you approach that? That's a really interesting question because um, I've talked about it in my keynote on Delta Summit, the one that I was doing, is that there is not a lot of readily available information for novices in the crypto sphere. So you have to do your own research, obviously. You can't go anywhere in crypto without doing research. Um, just if you're new to crypto, reach out to people in the space. There are a lot of great content creators and influencers and just a lot of people who don't even have that big of an audience and they'll always be ready to answer questions. Reach out to the community. The, com the crypto community is one of the most robust, vibrant, and amazing groups of people I have ever interacted with. And anytime I've had any question, I've just reached out to people and they helped me out. Crypto is all about community. Even though um, there are a lot of, certainly there are a lot of big businesses in the space, um, I think community is what comes first. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, thanks so much, Pauline. All the links will be in the description to everybody. If you're listening to this on Spotify, check it out on Twitter and you can check them out on their new Instagram as well. But thanks so much, Pauline. Thank you so much for having me, Steve. I hope you have a great day. All right.